In this video, we are going to use the algebraic method to calculate the resultant vector. So let's here we go. Algebraic method. The first step of the algebraic method is to break the vectors down into x and y components. How do you do that? How do you do that? Well, the first thing you're going to need is a coordinate system. So here's our coordinate system. x and y axis. They say this is our vector. Let's call it this thing is falling off. Let's call it vector A. A. Okay? I have to draw what is known as the components. What are the components? The components are lines that are parallel to each axis. So you will have a line parallel to the y axis. We call that the y component, A subscript y, y component of A. And we draw a line parallel to the x axis. This is A x. Okay? So once we do that, we need to now calculate the values of the x and y components. Okay? So how do we do that? We need to know this angle. Let's say this angle is 30 degrees. From our knowledge of geometry, we can see that this is a right triangle. And if I want to calculate AX, it's simple A times the cosine of theta. So if we make A 5 meters, then now AX is equal to 5 meters and the cosine of 30 degrees, which is 5 meters times 0 0.86, which is about approximately, approximately 4.3 meters. Okay? Approximately. So that's your X component for the vector A. How about the y component? Let's do the y component over here. So a y from this same diagram will be a times the sine of theta. Five meters times the sine of thirty degrees. It's five meters times zero point five two point five meters. So what do we have here? AY is equal to 2.5 meters and AX 4.3 meters. All right? So we got our components for that vector. What if I want to add vector A to another vector? Vector B. Let's call it vector B. Vector B points in this direction. Or better yet, uh, yeah, this point is in this direction. Let's call this vector B. Okay? Then, I need to calculate the components of vector B as well. How can we do that? Well, here's a quick way to do it. You can either draw another coordinate system, and in this case, what I'm just going to do, I'm going to move this vector because I've already got this component, so I don't need it anymore. 
Okay, I got the component that I wanted for it. Okay, so it's gone. So now this vector, I'm going to move it to the center. There it is. Now this is vector B. I need the component for this vector as well. So this will be B, Y, and this will be B, X. So how do we calculate B, X, and B, Y? That's what we need. Okay? We need this angle. How about that angle being 60 degrees? All right? 60 degrees. So now, the same equation applies. Bx is equal to B cosine theta. In this case, let's call B 6 meters. So B is equal to 6 meters cosine of 60 degrees. It turns out that the cosine of 60 degrees is 0 0.5. So that gives us 3 meters. So Bx is 3 meters. Okay? Now let's do By. B sine theta. So that's B is 6 meters down the sine of 60 degrees. Six meters times 0 0.86. Uh, that's approximately, approxim I'm approximating now, approximately 5.2 meters. Okay? So by is 5.2 meters. So there we have it. We're adding two vectors. We're adding a and vector a and vector b, and we have cal calculated their components. Okay? We have calculated their components. So what do we do with these components now that we have calculated them? Because that's our goal. That's our number one goal, to be able to calculate the components. What do we do with these components? Well, once we calculate the components, we really don't, uh, well, let me see. I don't want to complicate this. We really don't need this for right now. Let me show you what we're going to do with these components. We are going to calculate the resultant. And it turns out that the resultant is going to be r squared is equal to rx squared plus ry squared. Okay? Now, what is rx and what is ry? rx is what? Ax plus Bx is all of the x components of the vector.